Welcome to the Treehouse of Love. We're live. Join the conversation at 512-836-0590. Now, here are Todd and Don. Yeah, come back in one hour if you have to step away. That's when we have Trump tweets at 806 with some amazing Life-changing prizes. Oh, it's extraordinary. Uh, coming up at 8.06. You Life don't want to miss that. Altering. Uh, right now, 7.07. We do it weekdays. Right now, it's your daily dossier. It's the top five stories you need to know about before you get to the office. Here we go. Uh, this week, the president is set to officially announce his re-election bid for 2020 with a new campaign video that's in cyberspace and on the front page of our website at newsradioklbj.com. <laughs> a movement like we've never seen in the history of our country. Wisconsin is Trump country. And that's what this fight is all about. We're taking on the failed political establishment and restoring government of, by, and for the people. It's the people. You're the people. You won the election. We love this country. We love Donald Trump. Promises made, promises kept. We support President Trump. Just a portion of that new campaign video that's in cyberspace. Also, part of the dossier, a new poll. 50% of Texans would definitely vote to re-elect President Trump, while 50% say they will vote against him regardless of the opponent. That is uh, the findings of a new University of Texas Austin Tribune poll. Yeah, the posters say the 50-50 split shows how divisive President Trump really is All right. right here in Texas. Also, part of the Daily Dossier, City of Austin leaders have been very hush-hush about the location for a new South Austin homeless shelter. And this week, we may have the answer. On the City Council agenda is an item that seeks to spend $8.6 million on land purchasing near Ben White and Bannister Road. Yeah, the city council has said that this shelter would be uh, much smaller than the Arch. That's the Austin Resource Center for the Homeless downtown near the police station. This on the south side would serve only about 100 people at the most, 100 beds. Also part of the daily dossier, police and EMS are still crunching the numbers, but it looks like there were fewer major crashes during this year's Republic of Texas motorcycle rally than previous years. Yeah, as of late last night, Austin Travis County EMS responded to seven crashes last night. None of them were fatal. In all, uh, there were 18 crashes last year. No fatalities this year whatsoever. That's good, good news. Good. And also in the dossier, have you seen this recent survey from Cox Automotive Group? And it shows that 40% of people say having access to a car is important, but owning one is not now, in response to that, the rental car company Hertz is rolling out a program here in Austin allowing people to pay a monthly membership fee to have full access to a range of vehicles, cars, SUVs, and trucks through Hertz. Austin is one of two cities they are actually going to have this service where uh, you can well, rent a variety of vehicles and not own a, a vehicle. A lot of people would argue. I mean, it's, it is known as one of the worst investments. It's, it's really a horrible investment. Uh, because it goes down in value the very second that you turn the key and get going. Uh, so for a lot of people, this probably makes sense. It does. You're also seeing a growth in these um, these 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 apps that you can actually rent out your own vehicle to other people. I read an article over the weekend that that is growing. There's some more vehicle sharing, vehicle vehicle your, sharing, your uh, personal vehicle uh, sharing. An example: my big truck sitting in the parking lot right now. Somebody could use it if they needed it during the day if, if while I'm on the job. Which to me... And make a little money, pay for itself. I could not imagine doing that. I could not imagine uh, 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 renting out my own car to a complete 100% total stranger while they're going around town doing who knows what all day. And then there's some people where the car is nothing but get to point A to point B, and that's it, and that's all they need. And that's fine. But it's looking like more not and more people thing. feel that way with 40% saying it's important to have a car. Uh, access to a car, but not own one. That's that's pretty significant well, in Texas. Forty percent. That's 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 uh, economy change. And it's the next generation coming up, coming up who are waiting until they're eighteen, twenty to even get a driver's license in some cases. So it's a different thing. It's a different set of priorities. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't lease your car out to somebody. You wouldn't loan it out to anybody. God no. May, God would no. you loan me no. your car? Would you loan a friend? No. Would you loan me your car? Are you moving? Yeah. Would Are you, you about to ask me to no, help I'll you No, I'll be honest. Would you loan a friend or a relative your vehicle? Absolutely. All right. Yeah, of course I would, but but, but a total stranger? Yeah. I, that is just the most bizarre concept Look, to me. You come from a generation, and I understand. I understand what you're thinking. I, I, I kind of feel that way as well. Uh, but I, I, for some people, the car, they have a love affair with their car. It says everything about them. Yes. Your, the car you drive is, is a statement. A yes. fashion state. It says something about you. One would think I love soccer. Right. 
and have kids playing soccer. That is not the case. And and you may have a stash of cataract glasses that's on the right. dashboard. That's what your car says about you. <laughs> Well, well, that's changing though, because cars well, yeah. are cars are expensive, yeah. and younger people are graduating college with a mountain of debt. Yep, and so they're not buying cars; they're putting it off. It's you know, just, they can they can take the lime, they can take a scooter, take I, a train, take y- a bus. Yeah, it, it's it's just a bizarre concept to me as far as renting out your own vehicle. But hey, uh, not hurting me in any way. If that's what you want to do, go nuts. Uh, stay with us. Uh, it is seven thirteen. Coming up in the news at seven twenty. Should we really be ranking schools, giving them a rank? This one's better than that one. This one's underperforming. This one's uh, an overachiever. Should we be ranking the schools? Uh, That is a question that is uh, in the LinkedIn world at Todd Jeffries right now. We'll take a look at it. It's a U.S. News and World Report. Uh, But that's not all. Stay with us here on the Todd and Don Show. The Todd and Don Show. Listen, you're thinking about selling your home. You want to sell it fast. You want to sell it for more money. There's only one team that I would use, and that is Chris Waters. He is the broker and owner of Waters International Realty. Got a proven, repeatable marketing system that sells homes fast. Come back to the Todd and Don Show Facebook page later today, about 10.15-ish. Uh, join us live as we have a conversation with Chris Waters, talking about the housing market and how he works. And he'll explain in detail uh, the fact that he can get you an offer within 72 hours. Plus, he's tall and good-looking. Uh, uh, then well, you got that I going. I guess that helps, too. So yes. tune in, ladies. Right. You'll love that part. <laughs> yeah, a lot of great stories there. Uh, listen, uh, we have uh, John here in Austin said he was originally going to sell uh, – originally going to list his home with a friend that was going to offer a discounted commission, but decided to hire Chris Waters. That's a good move. Chris and his team put their marketing machine to work, had three offers on their home, sold for 11000 over asking, and they ended up uh, netting thirty five grand more by not being suckered into one of those cash offers. Yeah. Uh, sell your home today, 649-4000. That's 649-4000. Or online at ChristopherWaters.com. With two Ts, Christopher Waters. My name is Josh V. 